My name's uh, Robert Parsons. My name's Adam Parsons. Hi, my name's Russell Parsons. I'm in Gore, Maine, and we're collecting sap. We're dumping sap into this tank, and then it's pumped into the tank on back of the Balmadea. We've had that probably, I think, I think pushing 20 years. And how important is it to you? Uh, we have to have it. That big bombardier is, no, I don't think that's ever left us stranded, ever. As time goes by, we're going to change the way we collect in the woods. We're going to run a few more main lines and and make it easier for us to collect. I mean, you know, instead of having 250 15 gallon drums, you know, maybe have like a half a dozen collection points. We need to make it a little bit easier because we are getting older. to see if the sap ran yesterday and, and did it when we pick it up day before yeah. the tracks are a little loose that's what you hear that clicking noise the cleats are hitting on the back the track needs to be tightened up I'm going to start the sap evaporator. How often you got to put wood in there? Oh, around every five, six, seven minutes. Wood. Always putting wood in it. Wet the floor down, just just in case you know sparks or prevent a fire, I guess. This is uh this is the switch that pumps the sap. The sap that Adam was just unfreezing from the holding tank pumps from the holding tank up the pipe into this holding tank. Once the sap is held up top, it's gravity feed right into the evaporator so you don't have to touch it. No more pumping. As it continues to thicken up, the final stages of the syrup comes into this float and he'll he draws off over here the fi finished product comes from the other side this is my drip cup you're gonna laugh about it <laughs> yeah just because that valve leaks a little bit it's not quite there yet we've got to evaporate a little bit more water see that is the final syrup that's uh filter in and then it's it's complete Yeah, it's a lot of work, uh, but I, I enjoy doing it. I mean, we've done it a long time, so it's this time of year too. I mean, it's it's just another part of farm, and we're not we're not planting corn, we're not haying. I mean, it's an off season for the farm. I, I don't know if anybody gets rich doing it. People don't realize how much of a job it is to go uh, 
haul sap out of the woods when there's two feet of snow and bring it up here and boil it for eight or ten hours and that's all in between milk and cows on a dairy farm so it, it keeps you busy. I guess my father and my mother kind of showed us kids how to do it and uh, it was boil down the sap to make the maple syrup but it wasn't so uh, sophisticated as we're doing it now. It was just boiling on a galvanized pot on a wood stove in the farm repair shop. I think it's kind of a main thing. I mean, all most kids, you know, I mean, they'll tap some and then they boil, boil it on a little wood stove and just, you, once you start, you just, I don't know, it just it's just a main thing. I remember once when I was probably six or seven and I didn't want to go collect sap with my father and Uncle Bob, so my father suited me up anyway and dragged me out and put on the uh, put me on the big bombardier that you saw earlier. And ever since then, I I always went and enjoyed it. I like history anyway, and uh, in Gorham here and down in this area, there's not much left for farms, and uh, there's a few people around doing doing maple, but the farm itself, there's only uh, three dairy farms left in Gorm, Maine right now, and it, it's dying off, and it's great to have a, a farm where you can do it and, and try to keep it going. Uh, somebody will take over, I don't know, you know, and my, there, there's somebody will take it over. Well, I don't really, think of it like that. I just figure I'm going to do it with my father and Uncle Bob forever. I don't see it taking it over maybe someday, but I figure I'm just doing it with them. Yeah, it's a good day. Yeah, a lot of people come out. I mean, kids get to see, you know, a lot of kids, they've never seen this stuff before. And uh, yeah, it's a good day.